Hello again. Welcome back to my garage. Um, well, I've done it again. I've made yet another foolish eBay purchase. Well, if you've seen the video title, you know exactly what this is about. So let's get to it and see just how bad this is. What we have here is a lovely DigiWave or uh, any brand you could imagine. Um, I don't know who DigiWave is or if they even exist anymore. Uh, five foot, four inch, or uh, 165 centimeter prime focus satellite dish. It is made of the finest, thinnest material known to man. Um, so it's really lightweight, uh, which I guess is a great feature, except that it's also uh, easily dented. Um, it's about one step above tin foil, so it'll hold its shape but that's about all you get for your money. So, and even then, just if you touch it a little bit, it might, it might change shape. So, uh, as you can see, the feed horn assembly is not actually attached. It does come with legs for it, obviously. Um, this is in the garage. It's gonna go outside tomorrow and we'll take a better look at it then. Now, this, this kind of metal reminds me of the cheap backyard uh, fire pits that you can get that usually rust after one year of use. So I give this maybe uh, two years until it starts having holes in it. Uh, if I don't keep up spray painting all the rust spots that will eventually come on this. Uh, and one unique thing about this guy is that it is not a polar mount uh, and it's not motorized, so it is fixed for one position, comes with its own stand. Um, the welding on here is probably as good as I could ever weld, so really, really bad. Um, there's holes drilled in places that I'm not sure why they're drilled there. Um, yeah, so I give it, you know, one or two years, and then it'll go to the scrap pile. Now let's go take a look at the lovely accessories that came with it. Okay. Comes with a deluxe instruction manual, including a parts list. Ooh, so you know if you're missing something. Um, it comes with some very short hold-down bolts. They look like they're meant to be meant in concrete, but not even two inches long. Um, it might work. I don't know. I'm not going to use those. Uh, and for those who buy satellite dishes or anything that needs assembly, uh, it comes with a wrench. So apparently uh, you don't even need tools for this. I, I didn't realize that. It's the IKEA branded satellite dish. Maybe DigiWave is a, a partner with IKEA. Um, and lovely 40 millimeter uh, LMB holder. So you can just take one, put it in here. Uh, which makes me think this dish is really only meant for KU band. Um, I'm going to try C band on it, but it's really at the edge of being able to receive uh, that frequency range. And of course, I will use my own scalar ring and uh, I don't know, one of these. Ta da! Yeah. Um, although this weighs a couple pounds, I'm afraid that these feed horn arms are going to flex. They're, they're so flimsy. So we'll see if it'll even hold up this nice uh, LMB that I've got. And uh, I'll do another video on that. Uh, I'm also surprised that it even showed up intact. Um, well, I don't need to show you. The box, it didn't even have foam on one side. So there's just a thin layer of cardboard between the reflector panels and the outside world and it didn't do a very good job in shipping. So the original box it came in is just terrible and I'd, I would not recommend ever buying this. We'll see if it even receives any signals, if it's been damaged enough in transport that it even works or not. So yeah, don't buy this. <laughs> 